Welcome, I'm Kinetic Symphony, this is Dave. I hunt down and report on weird and true mysterious stories, from glitches to the supernatural. Case file number 1813, written by City and Mother. Through moves and time, the ring returns, a tale of a band that forever yearns. Fourteen years ago, I had my oldest. When I found out that I was pregnant, I waited a couple of months before I told my boss. When will you be wed? was the first thing out of her mouth. I can envision that moment like it happened today, it stuck with me. I was almost 23, but I look younger, and throughout the pregnancy I was constantly met with judgments of being an unwed young mother. We didn't just believe that we should be married for the sake of pregnancy, thankfully, oh my god. But we were together, so I decided to just buy a pretty ring and just wear it when I went out. It is a silver band with small, shiny stones, purchased from Target, no big deal. I wore it until it was tarnished. But at that point, I acquired my grandmother's wedding ring when she died, so I started wearing that. I put the tarnished ring in a jewelry box with intentions of laughing about it one day, and that was it. A few years ago, and a few houses later, I found the ring. It looked worse than I remembered it but hung it on a jewelry tree to continue what I was doing and forgot about it. Until a month or so later, while cleaning out a couch I was getting rid of, I found the same ring but shiny new. Quite what the hell. I went to find the other one. Still gross looking, but it was the same ring. I know I didn't buy another, so yes, I was very what the hell. I put the original one back on the jewelry tree and tossed the other one in a drawer. I was creeped out, but eventually forgot about it. Fast forward to last week, I was cleaning and gutting out my kitchen, and there was the ring, sitting in a ceramic pie dish. I thought that maybe one of the kids took it out of the drawer, but because I had no use for it, I put it in a bag I was throwing unwanted items into, a big black trash bag. I put it into the bag, didn't toss it, I even placed it into a Tupperware bowl. I took the bag outside when I was done, deep cleaned the whole kitchen wipe baseboards and under everything that had a crevice. The other day, I was sweeping the kitchen floors. Under the kitchen table, there was another freaking ring, shiny silver and sparkling stones. They just keep on coming. Okay, so file 1813. Through moves and time, the ring returns. A tale of a band that forever yearns. This seems almost like a program error, as if there is a program running in the master server, where they're meant to duplicate certain items, but it's applied to something incorrect, like this ring. Because <laughs> as you say, they just keep on coming. This is even beyond a standard duplication glitch, which generally only happens one time, maybe two. My guess is you'll keep finding these randomly throughout your life, unless they correct a mistake, but <laughs> could be worse, you know? You know, it's, uh, it's like the um, Gemini, is it Gemini? Uh, curse in Harry Potter, where they're invading the, <laughs> the vault, and everything starts multiplying. Now in the book, these were scalding hot, so it was much worse than in the movie, but still, you're just drowning in rings later on in your life. <laughs> That's how you die. Rings just duplicate and suffocate you. <laughs> you're buried in silver tarnished rings. <laughs> Weird thought, yeah. Case file number 1814, written by Ignis184. Surgeon's shock and a priest's insight. A miracle light or medical might? When I was six, I began complaining of frequent UTIs and pain in my abdomen. Luckily, the pediatrician took me seriously. There are two tubes called ureters that carry urine from your kidneys, where it is made, to your bladder, where it is stored. There is supposed to be a one-way valve in these tubes that keeps the urine from flowing backwards. I did not have a valve. I went in for surgery to create a valve and examine the level of damage done. Urine is chemically extremely irritating, which is why your bladder is especially adapted to holding it long term. They expected to find massive scarring in my kidneys and ureters, because they are not built to be exposed to that concentration of urine for long. I was placed on the kidney transplant list ahead of the operation. One week after surgery to create the valve, Scans show 1% damage in the kidney? Surgeon says he can't explain it. 
parish priest who did the last rites says he can. Now I am a scientist working in regenerative medicine. I wonder about this incident. On the one hand, it's well known that kids heal way better than adults. But on the other hand, my surgeon was pediatric, so Shirley was taking that into account. Kidneys are not known to regenerate easily, like mucosal linings of the liver is. I am religious, so I'm not opposed to thinking it really was a miracle, but I also don't think it had to be. God does plenty of amazing things through the natural world. There is a famous urological surgeon working on tissue engineering. I have never met him, but if I ever come across him at a conference, I would love to hear if he can explain it. Case notes for file 1814. Surgeon shock and priest insight. A miracle's light or medical might. You know what is interesting, actually? I just recently found this out. Well, first off, children do recover faster, as you mentioned, because they have more stem cells floating about, which stem cells are sort of like nanobots that are that can go anywhere in the body and know how to repair basically anything. They're almost magic. So children have more of them, so they, they can repair things easier. Organs, skin, etc. But if you're an adult, like I presume most are, <laughs> you can actually eat chocolate. The flavonoids in chocolate will boost your stem cell production. Now, it doesn't mean you eat chocolate, you become Wolverine or anything like that. But it is beneficial. Eat some chocolate. Now, best to stick with dark chocolate, not too much sugar added. I have a square to a day. That is apparently extremely healthy. Just don't eat too much, don't become fat. But assuming you stay thin, it's an extremely positive thing to do. Good news about eating chocolate is good news. <laughs> now, could this be a guardian angel that literally healed you or protected your insides? Maybe. I don't know if they have that kind of direct power. My guess is they don't, but I could be wrong. There are stories where they can directly intervene, slow down time, move you out of the way. So maybe they can do this too. Maybe the explanation though is just simple. Maybe it really is that you have a genetic mutation that enables rapid healing. Or maybe a protection against the kind of uh, acidity or chemical corrosion of pee, of urine. Who knows? I mean, we are all mutating all the time. Every new human that is born is slightly different, sometimes majorly different, than other human beings. Now, usually these mutations don't benefit us. Sometimes they're detrimental. Sometimes they're slightly positive. Sometimes they are miraculous. You know, there are swimmers out there that are born with webbed feet and hands, which greatly assist in swimming. Now, that would be an evolutionary advantage, but it's still not such an advantage that it promulgates widely. So there are beneficial mutations, but again, these are they only promulgate if they're beneficial for reproduction. Otherwise, it doesn't ripple through the genetic code of the human species. So there are benefits like this that might exist. Maybe you'll be the last one to have it. Maybe you'll pass it on. Who knows? And sometimes there's dominant and recessive genes and so it gets kind of complicated. But personally, I think it's just a trait that you have. It's not a miracle, probably. I think it's just a medical marvel. Fun to be special. <laughs> Case file number 1815, written by Potential Macaroon, 8532. A dream's embrace, goodbye from grandma's loving face. When I was 12, my parents got divorced and we lived with my dad. Stayed at my mom's every other weekend and saw her twice a week. Anyways, one night I had a dream that my mom had come to pick up my brothers and I. We were driving around in her car when she told us that she had something to tell us. In my dream, she told us that she has cancer and is very sick. I remember waking up, feeling a bit worried and brushed it off as a weird dream. Here comes the weird part. The next time she came to pick us up, we were driving in her car and she told us she had cancer. It was weird as hell, just like the dream I had. But that was 13 years ago and my mom has been cancer-free for about 11 years now. Also, whenever I was pregnant with my daughter, right before I found out her gender, I dreamt that I opened up an envelope and it said, It's a girl. A few weeks later, confirmed that I was pregnant with a girl. Then I had another dream like two weeks before I gave birth, and I saw my daughter and her weight. Whenever I gave birth, it was all the same. Lastly, my grandmother passed away pretty unexpectedly a few years ago. I took it pretty hard considering I visited with her and my grandpa just about every other day. 
Well, a day or two after she passed, I had a dream that I was walking up some stairs that led into a room. I opened the door and my grandma was sitting on the couch. I ran up to her and started crying and hugging her, saying, But you're gone. You passed away. And she wiped my tears and said, I know, and gave me the biggest hug. Then I woke up. It felt so real, the hug and everything. I think it was her saying her final goodbye. Case notes, file 1815. A dream's embrace, goodbye, from grandma's loving face. If you can, ex like we could do this now. If you do um, a genetic test, like 23andMe, they can report back to you if you have genes that make you more likely to have heart attacks or cardiovascular issues or cancer. So somehow, your mind as a child knew that your mom had this genetic trait. Maybe it ran in her family, I don't know, something like that. But there was information available that your subconscious drew on and inferred. Now it is interesting that she did this in the car as well. That predicting that is just incredible. But predicting she'd have cancer, I think that's very doable and entirely believable to me. Because we could literally do that with science right now. <laughs> that's fantastic that she recovered from it. We have great technology now. It's not just chemotherapy. Similar story to being pregnant, having a dream before. Guessing her weight though is just incredible. Really, some people have minds that are so sharply attuned. Like I was saying, there are mutations. Maybe somehow some people are having brains formed that are incredibly attuned to predicting the future, possible futures. It really is awesome to read about. Now, the last one about your grandma, that was just your grandma coming to visit you, I think. For whatever reason, it is impossible to visit every single person that you love. If you die, your soul... A fragment can linger behind, but maybe there's a hard limit to how many people you can go and visit. Because if a person has a story where they are visited by a loved one, usually I think they're true. And they really did experience that. And I think it really is the echo of the person that died and came to visit them. But often in these stories, they only visit one person. Maybe they do visit everyone. But most people are kind of closed-minded. They wouldn't admit it. They wouldn't tell other people that, yeah, I had a dream about my mother coming to see me and it was her final parting gift, you know, to just hug me and say goodbye. They would just bury that. They would keep that internalized. They wouldn't tell a soul because they don't want to be seen as crazy. People really want to fit in with the tribe. It is a natural instinct. If that's the case, it's kind of sad. Now time for the joke of the day. Someone complimented my parking today. There was a note on my windshield saying, parking fine. Fine parking. <laughs> Not really what they mean though. Pay up the moolah. <laughs> Like the video, subscribe, hit the bell. Kinetic Symphony signing off.